Welcome. In front of me is a Nord uh, CE from OnePlus. And today I'll show you how you can record screen on this device. So to get started, all you need to do is pull down your notification panel and look for the screen recording toggle, which for me, oh, there we go. It's right over here, screen recorder, uh, as on the second page. Now this is the default orientation of the uh, all the toggles. So for you, it's probably on the same page as it is for me. Once you find your toggle, you can hold it. This will quickly take you to the settings. Now I do recommend everyone to just hold it the first time around just so you can see what kind of settings are set by the default uh, on this. We have things like video resolution which apparently 720p is max even though the display is 1080p. Uh, stupid decision but oh well uh, I guess we have to deal with uh, a lower quality recording. Not sure why though. We have bitrate which uh, as the highest, um, I guess for 60 frames, that might be a good option. If you're planning to drop down the frame rate, I would also drop down the bit rate because uh, the video will have a bigger file size, but it won't really be visible and like the bit rate, which will consume more of your storage. So if you drop to 30, also drop this to like 16. Uh, then we have uh, audio sound, we have internal audio, which is the one that comes from the device. We have also option for microphone, uh, no audio, so choose whichever one you want. We have uh, hide floating widgets, we have also show touch uh, op operations. It's a weird way to describe it, just touch uh, touches on screen. And pause recording when the screen is off. So once you went through all these and customize them to well, your liking, all you need to do is now go back to the toggle and tap on it. It automatically starts recording, I think, right? Nope, it doesn't record, so... No. <clears throat> now it's actually recording. So you can see there is a countdown. You can also pause the video if you want to. So this will be just halted. You can open up some kind of app in the meantime and then resume it by tapping on it again. Additionally, uh, any kind of app that you will open will be recorded by the device. And once you're done recording, interact with this, click on the square, and there we go, it's now saved. Now I'll also mention, uh, like I said, uh, open up any kind of app to record it, but that is not necessarily true, because if you try to record things like Netflix, as an example of some kind of show, uh, Netflix does block the screen recorder altogether. The only thing that you'll get from the recording is the sound. Um, I assume Netflix is just isn't able to block the sound, from being recorded, but it will block the screen itself. So all you will get is just nothingness, a black nothingness. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now going back to the recording that I have just captured, I can find it in the gallery application right over here. Where is it? There we go, screen recorder. So as you can see, it is already playing. Now additionally, you can hear the, the recording when I stopped it and started this sound that it made just because in the settings it is recording the audio from the phone. So anyway, that is how you would record your screen. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.